Hello and welcome to Discover the Horse. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to Discover the Horse. Continuing my journey in Sweden, it's time to discover a breed that is known for its cultural heritage in agriculture and forestry work. This is the Swedish Arden. To help me learn more about the breed, I'm meeting up with Sophie. Many years ago, she had a dream to own one of these majestic horses, and now she and her family have their own breeding farm. They really want to do as you ask them to do. Yes. They really want. And um, maybe it takes time for them. They, I used to say they have to use like three seconds to think before they do something. And it's so nice to you know, work with them. And they remember, you can put them in the outside and they just don't do anything with them for three months. And then you take them out and you just have to remind them five minutes and they can do it. Oh, they wow. work. So I love that with them. The horses are very used to dogs and uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> and machines and stuff. <laughs> the first Ardenner horses were introduced to Sweden in 1873. These initial horses originated from the Ardenna Highlands, located in southeastern Belgium, on the border with France. In Sweden, these sturdy horses were crossed with other breeds and quickly gained popularity particularly in the central and southern regions of the country. The funny oh. thing about these horses is also that they really doesn't what? care so much. They are, oh, have you ride them? No, but I can sit up and ride. <laughs> so I have riding the stallion there yeah. for you a week. <laughs> yeah, just sit up and uh, yeah, no, he can turn. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's not so good with the feet, but uh, okay. if you just and some, then he listen. All right, he's a very good driving horse. Okay. <laughs> the best thing from the US, Pebble Magic. Magic. Oh. I can't live without it. You know, food, water, this. It's like that with those <laughs> horses and the, the remains and stuff. Hey, man, we have a little job to kill you. You have a little job to kill you. This horse, Melvin here, we love him to death. Yeah. yeah. Since he came out, <laughs> um, he was born here in the corner, actually. Aww. Yeah, always very easy to deal with. You know, transport him. You can, um, you know, that machine there. You can have him beside. He walks there, and he doesn't care. And it's so nice. So very, very kind horse. We put uh, the foals beside the mares so they can go driving. He has been running beside his mother uh, on the weddings and stuff. So then they get to see so much at a young age and, yeah. and realize you know, how, to, how to manage different situations. Yeah, it's, it's much more easy because they are used to you know, having stuff beside them and around them and yeah. Oh, it's like riding a big Shetland pony. Big, beautiful Shetland pony. Yes. yes. <laughs> Melvin? Oh. So. There's no girls here. No girls outside. Another breed. Oh my goodness. And a big one at that. <laughs> I love the presence about him. Yeah. 
He thinks he's uh, good. He has a good confidence. <laughs> yes, he certainly does. <laughs> Looking down at yeah. that just wide neck and his big shoulders, just the draping hair. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot get over how beautiful he is. You said to me earlier, he's been he's been a driving horse. Yeah. When was when was the first when was his first ride? I was sitting up on him uh, Sunday, so it's not a week. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Four times you're sitting on it. Oh my gosh! But I he love got it. it. You know, he was yes, you're up there. Okay. <laughs> We're doing the same thing as usual. Yes. <laughs> Just that you're in another other place. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But this, I mean, they are very kind and they're very loyal. If you get a relationship with them, yes, I really mean it. They can go through fire. Yeah, very loving horses. Okay, okay. He understands English too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I trained that also <laughs> four days. <now. laughs> you told me you were practicing your English, but yeah. you actually meant you were teaching it to him too. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like his father. I bought him when he was three years old. This was my first. I bought the biggest stallion I saw. Oh my God, it's my dream horse. I was 22. So I bought his father. That's why he's so special. He uh, was only 12, well, 12, I think, when we have to push him away. So I'm so happy for this one. <laughs> yeah. You're carrying on the legacy. Yes. Mm. So that's fun. That's yeah. so special. <laughs> In 1901, the Stud Book Association was established, which later became the Breeding Association for the Swedish Art and Horse in 1923. Today, there are just under 4,000 registered in the country. Stallions typically stand between 15-1 and 16-1, while mares are generally between 15 and 16 hands. Various colors are allowed, including bay, chestnut, black, and different roan variations. The breed is primarily used for driving. They excel in tasks such as pulling heavy loads and working in the forests due to their strength, endurance, and good nature. Reflecting on their history, it's remarkable to realize that for over a century, these magnificent horses have played a crucial role in the growth and development of the nation helping shape Sweden into the country we know today. Yeah, it's much pride and love for the horses. We who do, do it. Wonderful horses, I love them to death. Oh, it's you. 